Tonight on Realtree Global Hunting, we're back in South Africa for my final big game hunt with a Benjamin Bulldog 357. The all new big ball rifle from Crossman has proven itself in a variety of big game animals. But tonight, I'm hunting the magnificent grey ghost of Africa, the Kudu. The Grey Ghost of Africa is one of the most iconic and elusive antelope and is usually high on the list for anyone arriving in the Dark Continent to hunt. Despite their massive body size and impressive horns, the kudu is a master of concealment, appearing to effortlessly melt into the bushveld. They rely on thickets for protection and keep themselves hidden in the dense cover offered by the bush. They rarely venture out into the open, with their brown striped pelts serving to camouflage them in scrub environments. Kudu bulls can sometimes be found in bachelor groups, but are more likely to be solitary. Bulls are only seen with cows during the mating season, so unlike other African game species, you rarely see a large group together. When threatened, the kudu will often run away rather than stand and fight. These are the reasons why kudu have been known as the grey ghosts of Africa. Rarely seen, always alone, well hidden in thick cover and running at the sight of predator or threat. Getting within 50 yards of a kudu to make a good clean kill may not be easy. The all new Benjamin Bulldog 357 Big Bore Air Rifle from Crossman has already enjoyed huge success in its first hunting safari. Its first blood was Diker. Then we took a Springbuck after a patient wait. Next, we took out three problem warthogs in quick-fire succession. Then we almost managed to take an impala, but our impatience cost us the opportunity. We then managed to take a beautiful mature red hearted beast. And next, we took a magnificent black wildebeest. And last time out, we took a majestic oryx. Now it's really time to push the capabilities of the Bulldog and look for a kudu. We've only gone a few yards when we've been spotted by a kudu. No point in trying to stalk here, it won't be long and he will be heading for the hills. Instead we've decided to build ourselves a makeshift hide on the edge of this clearing. This is a fruit farm, and at the end of each day, they discard the rotten and unused fruit for the local animals to feed on. A monkey takes full opportunity to come in and feed. However, the warm African sun is still beating down on the clearing. It'll be a while yet before the air is cool and the light fades sufficiently for the kudu to feel comfortable enough to leave their cover. The first kudu in the clearing is a young bull, and he's on high alert. He doesn't like something he sees, and he makes a run for cover. Patience here will be absolutely key. We wait, and as the sun begins to fade, the kudu begin to make their way out into the open to feed on the fresh fruit. The kudu haven't spotted us, but something has. In the tree above us, monkeys are screaming and shouting at us. Hopefully the kudu won't pay attention to their alarm calls. There's a good bull feeding on the fruit and I get him in my sights. But there's not a shot yet. As the light fades more, more kudu come in 
and I don't have long before the light will be gone. I still don't have a shot and the monkeys above us are still making a racket. Then one kudu has enough and runs. The entire herd heads for cover. The light fades and that's our evening done. It's the final day of our amazing hunting trip in South Africa with a Benjamin Bulldog 357. We have one final opportunity to take a kudu and add the Grey Ghost of Africa to the impressive list of game taken by the big boar hunting air rifle. We wait patiently once again as the sun and the temperature begins to drop. After the herd was spooked yesterday, there's been very little activity here. With kudu being such cautious and unconfrontational animals, it may take them some time to build up the confidence to feed in this spot again. There's a young kudu feeding here tonight, but it's not what we're looking for. An essential element of hunting is the ethical approach to selecting quarry animals to ensure sustainable hunting for generations to come. This is not the animal for us. Unfortunately, the light fades and our time on the dark continent has once again come to a close. The Benjamin Bulldog 357 has performed flawlessly and has taken each animal with just one nozzle built 145 grain Benjamin Extreme bullet. The Bulldog has delivered power, performance and accuracy throughout our time at Anduna Hunting Safaris. However, the Grey Ghost of Africa has eluded us, like many before us, and I can't help but feel a sense of disappointment that we've not managed to complete our hunt by harvesting such a magnificent animal. I just have to tip my cap and wish the kudu a good day. But I'll be back, and the Benjamin Bulldog 357 will be with me. To find out more about the incredible Benjamin Bulldog 357 Big Boar Hunting Air Rifle, visit crosman.com. To find out more about Realtree Camo products and to join Realtree's global family of outdoors men and women, visit Realtree.com. Follow the links below for more amazing videos from Realtree Global Hunting. Be sure to subscribe to Team Wild TV for the very best hunting videos on YouTube.